Hey guys, how are we doing? Um, hey, so it was a it is a beautiful Monday night here over at the Abbas household, uh, and uh, I just wanted to take a second uh, to review some of the stuff that we did together uh, last Thursday because uh, if you're probably like me, you've probably forgotten a bunch of that. Uh, so what we want to do here is we just want to review some of the stuff. Uh, we are Alexander Hamilton. Look, I'm saying it right finally, and Thomas Jefferson. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and, um, you know, what I want you to do, what I want, what you want you to start to do right now is take out that, uh, those notes of that conversation that you had on Thursday between Alexander Hamilton and Thomas Jefferson. So I want you to go ahead, pause this real quick. I want you to get out those notes. Okay, cool. So you got out those notes. Uh, and what I want you to do is um, on the top, I want you to put on one side, I want you to put Federalists. And then the other side, I want you to put Republicans. And I want you to put it in the right spot. I want you to put it in the right spot. I want you to put one of them above Alexander Hamilton and the other one above Thomas Jefferson. Uh, both of these guys were the leaders of their party. Uh, and so we were kind of using them for stand-ins for what we really wanted to talk about. Who are the Federalists? Who are the Republicans? Who are the first two parties of our government? So, give you time. Hmm, which one goes on which? Yes, you're right. <laughs> so, Dory Explorer there. Um, so Alexander Hamilton, he was the guy that was a Federalist. And... Dad! Yes, Julia! Fire on and we can both wash the dolls. Do you do that? Oh, yeah! Let me, uh, let me uh, finish this recording and maybe we can. Okay. Okay, that was Julia. And then Thomas Jefferson, he is our Republican. Hmm, how cool is that? Uh, so I want you to put those on top. Uh, and then a couple questions, a couple questions. If you go down, uh, if you can circle these, these are important uh, ideas that I want you to remember about the Federalists and about the Republicans. So why don't you go ahead and uh, circle those as we go through those. Uh, but first of all, um, and so first of all, the Federalists and the Republicans, you know, what was their idea about government? What, did they want a strong government or did they want a weak government? Did they, wh where did they want the power to hold? So what kind of government were the Federalists looking for? Yep, uh, Federalists were looking for a strong government. Uh, so go ahead and find that on your paper. Circle that. Any more detail you can add, that would be fantastic. Uh, the Republicans, they wanted a weak national government. They wanted the power in the hands of the people. Wow, that sounds familiar. Hmm, where have I heard that one before? Uh, and uh, what about what about who should be in charge? Who should be in charge for the Federalists? The Federalists believed that the best people should be in charge, the most educated people. But doesn't that kind of make sense? The most educated people making the decisions? But the Republicans, on the other hand, and I want you to find that on your notes, I want you to circle that. Uh, the Republicans, they thought that everybody, everybody should have a say. The smart people, the poor people, the dumb people, the rich people, everybody got a say. And that was a radical new idea uh, back in the 18th century. Uh, and that's democracy, that's democracy. So the Republicans wanted democracy, whereas the uh, Federalists, they wanted another form of democracy. They just wanted the best people making the choices. Uh, and then finally, the last thing that I want you to find to circle is what was their idea about the Constitution? What was their idea about the Constitution? Federalists, they wanted a very loose, a loose, uh, describe, a loose idea about the Constitution, uh, interpretation of the Constitution. They wanted to be add powers. They wanted to add powers to the national government, and that meant that you had to be really loose with the Constitution. Republicans, though, said, no way! you got to follow the Constitution, and we believe in a very strict interpretation. Uh, and they wanted to limit the powers of government. And that kind of that kind of goes into, um, I don't know, what are your thoughts on the whole deal? You know, there's a Federalist. They believed in strong power. Got to make sure that uh, 
that because people are evil, we've got to make sure to protect them and uh, do the right thing. Uh, both of these people had great ideas about uh, what, you know, but they had great intentions. They both wanted the best for people. Uh, but how do you get there? Uh, and so I, that's what I want you to go ahead and do right now. I want you to go ahead and um, check that out. Uh, I want you to go to OneNote Online. I want you to go to OneNote Online, uh, and I want you to finish answering these questions. And if you think you're already done, I added a couple more. I added a couple more for you. Uh, but what I want you to do is you're going to go here into the Content Library. I want you guys to get... Uh, familiar with doing this. I want you to get familiar with doing this. We're going to go to the content library. This is where I put all the stuff that I want you to do. And yes, please hear me. You are going to get a grade for this. I will look into yours. As you can see, I can see all of your notes right here. You can see all the notes. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look in them and I'm going to say, hey, this, this person is doing what I've asked them to do. Uh, and you'll get a grade for that. Uh, but today, what I want you to do is I want you to go and take some time um, and I want you to look at, I want you to make a new page called Launching the Empire, and then I want you to follow these instructions. Uh, and really what this is about is, you know, what do you think? What do you think? What were the ideas that we just covered? You know, what were some of the ideas? What, um, you know, give me three details. And then what I want you to do is, you know, tell me why. What do you think? Do you think we should have a strong national government that's telling people what to do, making sure it's safe for them, or do you think it should be left up to their own uh, decisions? But then what happens if those decisions are bad? What happens if they make the wrong decisions? Uh, you know what you know what does that look like what does our country need to look like uh, and the kind of cool thing about that is you're going to be voters in a couple of years and you actually get to be a part of that decision and that's pretty cool uh, but as you are shaping your ideas as you're shaping your ideas just two really quick things uh, two events happened very very quickly that kind of um, shaped the Federalists and the Republican mind. Uh, one was the Whiskey, whiskey Rebellion. Uh, the Whiskey Rebellion was a tax on whiskey, and a bunch of the farmers were getting really upset about that. And so the Federalists, believing in strong government, went out and kicked their butt. They said, uh-uh, you got to pay your taxes. And the Federalists, the Republicans, they were like, whoa, what's up with that? Dude, that's a threat to personal freedom. That is too much power to the government. And uh, they thought, man, they were really worried about uh, the government later on stamping out or enforcing some radical weird law. And then shortly afterwards, uh, there was a law right here. This is the actual law. Uh, was the Alien and Sedition Act. Uh, the Alien uh, Act increased the age or the number of years that you had to live in the United States before you became a citizen, and it also said that you couldn't talk bad about the government. Wow. Isn't that one of our freedoms? But nah, That's beside the point. Uh, the Sedition Act, uh, the Federalists were really worried about people undermining the federal government. Remember, the Federalists wanted a strong government, but our Republicans they in turn said, you know what? This is personal freedom. This is our liberties. And government, you can't tell us what to do. Um, so those were just two events that came really quickly that kind of uh, shaped uh, the Republican and the Federalist mind and kind of put them to the test. So, all right. So we got the Risky Rebellion. We got the Alien and Sedition Act. Now we've got some stuff for you to do. Uh, on your page. If you've already got this done, please go back and check. Go back and check to make sure that you've answered all those questions uh, because you will be getting a grade for that. Thank you so much for letting me ramble. Uh, we will uh, get to doing something else fun in a little bit.